This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of a material in real time in the Unreal Engine. So, uh, what this is going to do is we're basically going to make a color and we want to be, be able to change the parameter of that color. And uh, in order to do this, it's actually quite simple. So, first things first, we need a material and we'll just call it color material. Very simple stuff not too crazy okay and what we're going to do is we're going to open that up create a constant three vector very easy we're going to double click on that give it some kind of blue color uh, really it doesn't matter what color it is so maybe you just give it um you know just the black color will be fine here but what we do need to do is convert it to a parameter and we're going to call this parameter color make sure you know whether it's capitalized or not case sensitivity is important in programming. So we're going to go ahead and push save, not too complicated. What we're going to do next is we're going to go and we're going to add in a sphere. And we're just basically going to apply. So this color material onto the sphere. Okay, so right now we have a little black ball here, not too complicated. Uh, but what we need to do now is make sure that we uh, turn this into something that we can use over and over again and manipulate. In order to do that, we need to turn it into an actor. So what we're going to do is we're going to go convert selection to blueprint class. Okay. And all we're going to do is this, I don't know what this interactive foliage editor is in there for. Um, it's because I use this, this particular uh, Unreal project for multiple projects here. So here we go. We have this little black ball here. Now what we need to do is we need to go into the construction script and we need to go and add in a few things here. Now this can get a little bit tricky, but it's it's actually quite easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a dynamic material instance. Okay. Now when you're first learning Unreal, you'll understand that there are two options here and you don't know which one to pick. Well, believe it or not, a lot of programmers just pick one and see if it works uh, or not. And you actually waste a lot of time doing that. But in this case, we do need this uh, here and we do need the static mesh component. What that's doing is that this is the static mesh component. So it doesn't have to be a sphere. Okay. Next thing we need to do is I'm dragging this from this return value here. Uh, and we're going to go set vector parameter. Okay. And I think that should work. Okay. Yeah. Watch what happens if you go set vector parameter. So you get all these different other ones here. And like, even if you do this, um, it, you can see it's a little bit different. We don't want that. Okay. So sometimes you do have to drag from the other value to get the correct function to come up. Okay. Next thing here, we're going to add in our, um, parameter name. And this parameter name is going to be color. It has to be case sensitive. Um, so if this is color without a capital, it has to be color here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a variable here. This variable is going to be called color. And the type here, if we kind of hover over this here, you can see it says type linear color structure. Now, I don't think there is a linear color structure. Um, but nevertheless, I am just going to use linear color. I'm going to drag this out here and kind of move it up here. So all this is going to do is it's going to allow us to, um, uh, this is going to basically allow us to change the color. Okay. Why is it? Well, the parameter name is color. That's why. So let's hop back into here. And I think this should work at this point. So if I do type color, um, I think, it, did I compile that correctly? Yes, I did. So the reason why we're doing it in the construction script is so that we can edit it in the editor. So the next thing we need to do, let's hop back in here and let's go to this ball here. And for whatever reason, I'm just going to type in color material. I don't know why it didn't do that here. And then if we type in the word color, uh, it should allow us to change it quite soon here. And what we actually need to do first is we have to actually click this here. So this uh, variable has to be public and that's why we can't see it. So let's go ahead let's type in the color here and I've added one here and you can basically change it to whatever color you want and it will change here. But um, you want to make sure uh, it looks like it's compiling the shaders for some reason. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. But if we go ahead and play it, yeah, again, you can still see they are being compiled here. But nevertheless, um, let's just go ahead and compile, save that, 
and that should really be done here. I'm just going to delete these both and then uh, just drag one out in here. And if we do the color, um, for example, here, uh, and we change it to something else, you can see that we can change these spheres to whatever color we want. Okay. And so if we just uh, go into color here, we can change it to blue, right? In this case, purple, uh, we can change it to white. And then what that and you have to put it in the construction script, by the way, if you don't put it in the construction script, this will not work. Okay. And so you can make it any color you want, obviously. Okay. Now this, of course, doesn't work. Uh, this, of course, doesn't have to be just color. But if we go ahead and play it, you can see that all these spheres are uh, of the different colors that we made it here, we can pretty much do this with any single kind of parameter that we want. Okay. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. It really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.